Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of In-Depth Angling. I'm out here today at Hala Tonka State Park in Missouri. I'm going to be showing you how to fish Texas rig crawdad style baits during the winter time to catch lots of bass and big bass. It's zero degrees right now. We're fishing a snowstorm. It's a polar vortex. If you're new to the channel, please go down and subscribe so you don't miss any more content like this. And if you're, you've been here before, thank you for all your support and watching. Drop a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. So the first tip I'm going to show you guys here today is to always be fishing this thing with your hook fully embedded into the bait. I like to pinch it back up and let the, the point of the hook into the plastic so that it doesn't go and get hung up on all the rocks and stuff that you're going to be dragging on because this is going to be on the bottom of the lake. After you got your bait rigged up on there, Texas rig style, you have it weedless, you're going to be flipping this thing out or casting it into the lake. And I'm going to let that fall down on slack line. So I'm going to give it extra line off my spool here, like so. And I'm going to let that bait go all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to let it sit there for a few seconds because sometimes fish will eat that on the fall and you're going to be watching your line as it goes down. If there's any kind of jolt, any kind of vibration you're feeling in your rod, if your line starts shooting off side to side, you probably have a fish and you immediately set the hook. When the crawfish start moving, they have a little tail on the back that likes to flick and it kicks their, their bodies backwards and they like to coast. So when they shoot up, they'll shoot themselves up off the bottom and come up like an arch and land over on the next rock. So I'm going to be kind of imitating that. So I'm just hopping my bait across the bottom and just dragging it, dragging hopping. And sometimes I'll kick a couple times and so I like to hop it up a little bit, give another shot and then let it sink back down. And that will a lot of times trigger bass to really in and that'll get you more bites if you hop it a couple times and you mess with your cadence a little bit. Your cadence is going to be uh, something you can really use to help catch a few more fish. And another technique you can do when the fish are really sluggish and you're just trying to get their attention, um, they're really not biting at all, is you maybe just slowly drag it across the bottom, stirring up a bunch of sediment and things, and then you go into a hop and raise your bait up real quick. And it gets, grabs their attention, and a lot of times, if the fish are sitting down there, it'll trigger them to bite. Always be watching your line. Always be looking at how you can how you can target different structure with them. Be aware of where your bait is at in the brush piles. If you're fishing brush piles and rock piles, if you're fishing rock piles, etc. Um, and close contact with your bait. I don't like to have too much slack in my line. Just a bow to where there's maybe six or six to eight inches of slack out there. And so if I move that rod tip, I'm only moving. So if that, that line takes off, I just rip right down and set the hook on the fish. I don't want it to be too far out. That's how you fish a Texas rig, crawdad style bait on Ozark area lakes. You catch lots of bass this winter. Good luck out there. Hope you guys can use this. Oh yeah! Oh, heck yeah! That's what we freeze our butts off for. 